victory. Get kind of a look at them. Looks like we're making another turn. Shopping center. We're inside the Walmart parking center. And looks like we're going Walnut Park. Walnut Park. Copy, copy. Keep coming around. We got to. We, this is. It's coming towards us again. They're behind the buildings. Behind the dollar store, as I understand it. The dollar store. Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree. Hazards on. Actually going a little bit faster. Obviously knows the area. We're very oh, some spike strips right there. Over those spike strips. So this vehicle is going to have some flat tires here very shortly. Yep, front wheels are going flat. Front wheels are going flat. From Rosemary. And now getting a little bit more desperate. Front tires are flat. Going against traffic. Eastbound Florence from Santa Fe. Eastbound Florence from Santa Fe. Front tires definitely flat by this time. Coming up on Alameda, there's some traffic up there. He's going to have to go on to oncoming traffic here. A lot of cross traffic at this intersection. Alameda, Alameda. Whoa, look at that guy locking him up there. Southbound on Alameda. Southbound Alameda, one person locking up their brakes to avoid a crash. There's southbound Alameda now. Mike, Mike, southbound Alameda. Again on west. 81st Street approaching Central, 81st Street approaching Central. It's a westbound turn, still moving very slowly. Got people running next to the car trying to get video of it. And whoop, there we go. Looks like we're gonna be going northbound Central, northbound Central from 81st Street. LAPD helicopter, see the, uh, dry, uh, the passenger has a bag or a t-shirt or something, putting on a shirt perhaps. Uh, no flat tires on the passenger side. Westbound 81st Street. Westbound 81st Street from McKinley. Not sure what their strategy is here, but it's always interesting to watch. That's the uh, driver, a passenger right there uh, messing with a giant or a white t-shirt. Female driver still working their way west here on 81st Street, I believe. They're saying northbound, but I don't think it is a northbound street. I believe we're going westbound, 81st Street. And coming up on another major. And may coming to a slow roll right there. Westbound 81st Street from Avalon. Westbound 81st from Avalon. Continuing westbound. Continuing westbound. Looks like we're making another turn, northbound. Town, northbound 81st from town. Just threw some stuff, he's throwing some things out of the vehicle here on town, just north of 81st. North of 81st from town, he was throwing uh, items out of the, out of the vehicle. Uh, and the, uh, Approaching Fremont High School, making a turn here. He's forced to uh, continue westbound. Uh, it, I know this is going to be kind of difficult, and you know he might change it up, but we need to be on the other that side. We need to. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, we need. Look at the little kid running. Look at that little kid running. Good, 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 good. Thank you. Holmes, 87th Street. 87th Street, there's actually an officer, an LAPD officer at 87th, there he is. Uh, they were letting him know. You can see people in the neighborhood running to uh, watch the pursuit as it passes. Mostly young children, makes it very dangerous out here. This is a very residential neighborhood and you've got uh, people out here coming out to see this. There we go, look at those sparks, there you go. She really getting on it right there. 
Back on a major, I believe this is Florence. Firestone. Copy, copy, copy. What is, uh, whoa, look at that, you got some people right there. What is uh, the original want? They're talking about discontinuing this pursuit. CHP is back behind it. And uh, basically have been in the same neighborhood for quite some time. Uh, they've been circling. There we go. This officer right here is pit maneuver, uh, pit qualified. So we're probably going to see them basically try to spin this car out right now. Here we go. And, of course, right behind the building. Uh, you know, uh, <sighs> again, though, seems like there we go. Whoop, 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 just enough to t just tap it, just tap that car. And again, wasn't enough to get that car to spin, but here we go, coming up on another one. There we go, just past Florence as we're working our way northbound on Florence right now. CHP very aggressive here uh, on 71st Street, 71st Street. I'm working with my pilot right now to get a better shot. There we go. But again, you can see that inside that vehicle, activity starting to act, get up there too. That uh, passenger getting a little bit more nervous. That California Highway Patrol guy basically wants to bring this to an end. They, they got this guy up here on purpose. He is pit maneuver uh, qualified. That means that he's, he has been tested and approved to do those taps where they can hit the back there. But again, and whoa, look at all those sparks out there. Again, they will not do this in these really tight neighborhoods. This street, they probably will. There's a lot more, it's a lot more open. But again, now she's getting a little bit more desperate trying to get away. Uh, again, we'll try to get you a street name here as soon as I can. We, that was Hooper. We were northbound on Hooper. California Highway Patrol coming up here again. Here we go. Up, up, almost took him right there. Again, the tense moments, this is really starting to pick up. I can tell you we're southbound on Hooper, big street out here. Every time you see those sparks like that, what's going on is she's locking up her brakes. She's hitting the brakes there, and it's creating those heavy, heavy sparks off those steel rims. Again, she's only running on three tires. That front tire on the driver's side is flat. And you can see her being a little bit more desperate now. The California Highway Patrol coming up on her again right here. This is another wider street. But again, whenever you have pedestrians out here, they are not going to attempt that type of maneuver. And she's getting a little bit more desperate, trying to keep that uh, one officer at bay. Uh, again, creating more of a dangerous situation. But if she would just stop, this would all come to an end. Look at, how tr look at the tightness out here. Look at all these cars. Look at all these people in this area. This is not going to be a spot where they will attempt that. But again, this car continues to elude uh, California Highway Patrol as we're working our way, uh, excuse me, e eastbound right now uh, on this major road. So they told, they, they warned that officer, it's coming your way, stop, stop, stop. So they, they don't want to get anything in front of her. Uh, they don't want to uh, force this to come to an end or, or, or have a, a problem where she's, you know, runs into an officer and then there's uh, that deadly force issue. So basically they're just behind her right now. But again, look at how tiny these roads are. Coming back up to another major out here. Screen light for, for uh, other people, so across traffic. But you can see that car really spark in there when she gives it gas. That rim getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And again, this is this car might give up before the driver does. Uh, California Highway Patrol right there behind her. Uh, and again, we're still in the unincorporated Florence area. Been in this area for some time, making these blocks out here in these uh, very tight neighborhoods. Again, we have seen a lot of people out here. Every time you see, look at it right there, crowds of people on the side of the road with their cell phones out and etc., getting that shot of this pursuit following them. Uh, I don't know if this is an area that they know or if this just if these are just people in the neighborhood that see the activity and have come outside to uh, just get a get a glance at this as this car passes. But again, a lot of California Highway Patrol is the ones behind her right now. And again, uh, moving slowly, moving slowly. You can see some gesturing inside there. I'm not sure if the vehicle's giving out if they're uh, talking amongst themselves. 
But again, vehicle moving slow, southbound out here. I believe we're on Main. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa! Well, up there he goes over a wall. Over a wall. There we go. Look at that. He stopped. No, he didn't stop. Wait, right there. Right. Whoa. Whoa. We go over another fence. Looks like he's going to try to. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. There he is. There he is. Officers from California, Iowa Patrol, right behind him. There he goes. He took a little spill. There he goes. He keeps, he's trying to keep running here, trying to keep running, slowing down a little bit. Now, you got to understand, the California Highway Patrol are the ones chasing him. But the helicopter, oh, we got to move a little bit, Mike. Uh, that's my pilot. Uh, they're taking him into custody, taking him into custody right there. That whole time, LAPD uh, was calling this out, giving these officers on the ground there the location where this guy was. Uh, Okay, seen some activity now. This 
passenger from that pursuit being taken out by paramedics on a gurney. This is after a short foot chase. The suspect leading the escape uh, on a short chase in the neighborhood here, ending in the backyard of an apartment complex. Somehow that suspect is injured, going to be taken to the hospital to be checked out. Again, this is 85th and Main Street. One street to the north is where the pursuit terminated. You see a large crowd that is gathered here at this scene. Just one street up. A wild end to a crazy pursuit right in front of our news van as our cameras were rolling inside. We came up Main Street and parked the car because we saw the chase was coming our way. Shortly after we parked, the CHP officer came towards us and hit the suspect. Unfortunately, he missed. The suspect ran across and got over the fence. Photographer Wes Tennyson and I were both shooting on our cell phones. ABC 7 reporter JT Alpaw describes the scene Air 7 captured above. That's a ABC. You can see an officer on it. He's hopping fences. He went right by our eyewitness news truck, back over a fence, now running through yards. You see, the CHP officer runs in to try to tackle the suspect, pushing him into the news van. The suspect then jumps over a fence, followed by the officer and two others. Cornered in the parking lot, they finally take him down, searching him for weapons. Back at the car, the female driver finally gives herself up. The red Honda running on a rim after losing a tire in the slow speed chase that went in circles throughout South LA. That was crazy. Uh, we're actually on. Bandura and 87th when it happened and just kept passing right by us. The drama began just before 7 p.m. in Van Nuys when officers spotted the stolen car and the chase was on. The female suspect driving from the valley to South LA and onto city streets. Sparks flying after running over a spike strip. The suspects throwing things out the windows. We're not clear if she was throwing things out or if parts of the car were, parts of the tire were falling off because the rims were flat. I'm sorry, the tire was flat, it was running on rims. So we don't know if those were tires. Or if it was some type of contraband. It was dummy crazy. It was right there by my house. Everybody started uh, running out here t taking uh, videos and stuff. Finally, at Maine and 84th place, the driver stops and the passenger bails. I come out the house and I see a guy jump the fence here and two police is running behind him with guns and he ran that way. Right into our parked news van, as close as you can get to being an eyewitness. We're usually not that close to a scene like that. Being right in the middle of it, it was pretty wild. Certainly is a first for everything. Both suspects, man and woman, now behind bars, facing a long list of charges. Live in South Los Angeles, Leanne Suter, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Okay, Leanne, thank you. We had three different angles of tonight's wild and dangerous pursuit. Remember, you can send us your own video of breaking news or upload it to the ABC 7 app or post it on Facebook and be a part of our circle of eyewitnesses. Get kind of a look at them. Looks like we're making another turn. Shopping center. We're inside the Walmart parking center. And looks like we're going Walnut Park. Walnut Park. Copy, copy. Keep coming around. We got to. We, this is. It's coming towards us again. They're behind the buildings. Behind the dollar store, as I understand it. The dollar store. Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree. Hazards on, actually going a little bit faster. Obviously knows the area. We're very, oh, some spike strips right there. Over those spike strips. So this vehicle is going to have some flat tires here very shortly. Yep, front wheels are going flat. Front wheels are going flat. From Rosemary. And now getting a little bit more desperate. Front tires are flat. Going against traffic. Eastbound Florence from Santa Fe. Eastbound Florence from Santa Fe. 
Front tires definitely flat by this time. Coming up on Alameda, there's some traffic up there. He's going to have to go on to oncoming traffic here. A lot of cross traffic at this intersection. Alameda, Alameda. Whoa, look at that guy locking him up there. Southbound on Alameda. Southbound Alameda, one person locking up their brakes to avoid a crash. There's southbound Alameda now. Mike, Mike, southbound Alameda. Again on west, 81st Street approaching Central. 81st Street approaching Central. It's a westbound turn. Still moving very slowly. Got people running next to the car trying to get video of it. And whoop. There we go. Looks like we're going to be going northbound central. Northbound central from 81st Street. LAPD helicopter. See the, uh, dry, uh, the passenger has a bag or a t-shirt or something. Putting on a shirt perhaps. Uh, no flat tires on the passenger side. Westbound 81st Street. Westbound 81st Street from McKinley. Not sure what their strategy is here, but it's always interesting to watch. That's the uh, driver, a passenger right there uh, messing with a giant or a white t-shirt. Female driver still working their way west here on 81st Street, I believe. They're saying northbound, but I don't think it is a northbound street. I believe we're going westbound, 81st Street. And coming up on another major. And may come into a slow roll right there. Westbound 81st Street from Avalon. Westbound 81st from Avalon. Continuing westbound. Continuing westbound. Looks like we're making another turn. Northbound. Town. Northbound 81st from town. Just threw some stuff. He's throwing some things out of the vehicle here on town, just north of 81st. North of 81st from town, he was throwing uh, items out of the out of the vehicle. Uh, and the uh, approaching Fremont High School, making a turn here. He's forced to uh, continue westbound. Uh, it, I know this is going to be kind of difficult, and you know, you might change it up, but we need to be on the other, that side. We need to, okay, good, 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 yeah, we need, look at the little kid running, look at that little kid running. Good, 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 thank you. Holmes, 87th Street, 87th Street, there's actually an officer, an LAPD officer at 87th, there he is. Uh, they were letting them know. You can see people in the neighborhood running to uh, watch the pursuit as it passes. Mostly young children. Makes it very dangerous out here. This is a very residential neighborhood. and You've got uh, people out here coming out to see this. There we go. Look at those sparks. There you go. She really getting on it right there. Back on a major. I believe this is Florence. Firestone. Copy. 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 What is, uh, whoa, look at that, you got some people right there. What is uh, the original want? They're talking about discontinuing this pursuit. CHP is back behind it. And uh, basically have been in the same neighborhood for quite some time. Uh, they've been circling, there we go, this officer right here is Pitt Manu 